do together the Naden Parampuri. One of the nostalgic tea time snack. We Keralites love to have it. Best loved by many and everybody who enjoys this during the evening snack time will fall in love for this recipe more and more. I hope you will love this Naden Parampuri recipe. And uh, here what I have done is I am making the way what I do it. I'll show you how I do a small kind of a tip where uh, how nicely you get your parampuri done. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I have taken here half cup of the all purpose flour and one full heap teaspoon, tablespoon of the uh, rice flour. I'll be adding about one tablespoon of the sugar. Okay. I like my coating also to be free, that's why. And a pinch of salt, just to balance that. Okay. And normally everybody adds baking soda, that, this, I don't do that. I go straight away to the baking powder. I'm adding one teaspoon of the baking powder. No need to add any rice flour. Uh, rice flour in the sense I have seen people. I'm just powdering the cardamom. I have seen people what they do. They add idli batter, all those things. I don't do all those. He's enjoying the parambari see. It's his favorite. See how nice he's holding anything. He will not drop it. Until he eats that entire piece, he won't put it down. He loves parampuri so much. Baby, eating parampuri, baby. Hmm? Coco? Hmm? Parampuri? Nice? Baby, nice, baby. Hmm? Coco likes? Can I take it from you? Enough, you eat? Can I take it? Mmm, yum baby. Add some fresh cardamom comes. Nothing comes as fresh as adding your own homemade um, cardamom powder. Sorry, I forgot to mention. I have added quarter teaspoon of the uh, turmeric as well. It was inside the batter. I completely forgot. It was down in my flour what I have added. Okay, make a slurry, nice thick slurry like how we make for our bone dog, like that. Don't make it too watery. Take it all the last, beat it well. I've taken two Naden bananas. This is one of the favorites my husband loves. Given any time of the year, he likes paramburi. He likes to have param bevichadu. Oh, this is his favorite. And this is Kuku's favorite. He'll hold it and eat it. Okay. Now, the more the banana is ripe, the more tastier your uh, paramburi will turn out to be. Now, when you go to a restaurant, you will see them making it so lengthy piece and and it won't at all be nice because what they do is like they normally put so big and the flour the coating is so poor that sometimes some places you feel pathetic that why do you ever go to eat such kind of things if you want to have a, such a big paramuri you can have it but uh, for me I am I'm not that kind of craze to have uh, uh, like that. Normally what I do is like, okay, one or two pieces we can eat raw. Okay, now see, I'll keep like this. This much length is enough for me. Two. Three. Cut them into pieces. See, I got so many pieces from that. And then the beauty about this is that it's not very lengthy and you can have it in a smaller bite. I mix this very well. 
wait for the sugar we have added sugar right let the sugar nicely get mixed on to this and then i have kept my kadai and i have put in the um, oil to get heated as this batter is ready i will dip this one by one and start frying it now what i am going to do dip the flour well and then sit there Okay. But how you do your normal bhaji vadas like that to be the sauces. Dip like this and then drop it. Can you see how beautiful it is for fluffing up like here? Reason is that we have added the baking powder. If you do baking soda, only thing you will not have a yellow color. You will have a red color. It took me some time to understand. <laughs> Initially, when I used to do my param puris, they won't come out good. So after many tries, I have realized and I have came to understand the concept. So that's why when you're making pakoras, like when you're putting spice and making and baking soda, that kind is okay because your pakoras can be red color. Here it should not be red color. The normal param puri is yellow and nice golden like that. So this is how it is. See how nicely it's fluffed up. Can you see like a ball like it has come here? The flour is. We have not, you know, done anything to it. You see, very simple ingredients I have added. I have not added anything extraordinary. This is how it should come. And the batter also inside. If you when you bite, you should get the blend come out. So I will show you when I am eating. I thought, see, nice fluffy, fluffy there. Should be like that. Again, we will dip this, dip this, dip, and then drop. And don't keep your flame on very high first itself. Okay. Second one. You don't have to pour so much of oil. Make two two and take it out. What's a hurry for us? Anyway, we have decided that we are going to spend time in making this, right? So might as well take some time and then do it. This much of oil, whatever you get, is enough. See how nicely it is coming up. This is how it should be. Finished making one lot, and I have kept it here, and I have put the second lot. But still, my first lot is like nice fluffed up. Still remains so crunchy and nice. So that's how. Let's make everything and take it out. Our Emmy Param Puri with tea is ready to go. Thank you for watching me. Our happy cooking, happy eating. See, when I cut open, see how hollow this has come here. That's because both of our coating, okay, and the banana is there. See, nice hollow like, and the banana is there inside. Yum, very hot. Hmm. Super. I thought cooking is very crunch. Inside the banana is sweet, little sour. That's the nature of the Nendra Param, you know. And the coating has got sugar also, which we added. in all heavenly fantastic tea time snack this time when i came from home i told you all last time itself i will show you on how i preserve my banana leaves that i get from india and last for at least two weeks you can keep it if you really preserve it and keep So what I did was I have nicely wrapped. Okay, you see, you should wrap. I was just trying to open. Then I realized that I should show you. That. So that's why. See, it is like this. I have that. See, there's no air this side. There's no air going this side. Okay. So I 
after that, you see inside you will find more paper. If at all, if you leave it open and the air goes in, then your leaf is gone. So that's the, see how fresh it is. Now it's two days now since I have kept this one. Now I will take off the leaves, what do I need? So now I'm going to take out the banana leaves like this, which I need. Okay, now I'm going to keep that aside. There are some more here that I need for many other things. So now what I'm going to do is re-close it back. Okay, close like this and then roll it back. <laughs> I'm going to roll it back. Here's the paper here. See, it's, it's seen here. It should not. Then I'll cover this side. Let's cover this side. Okay, let's cover this side. See? No angle. Again. I come, I bring. Crazy, right? You must be thinking, why do I carry this so Oh, I love banana leaves to have lunch. And there's so many things you can do with this. See? I have neatly packed it. Now I can put it into the fridge. This is how I use. 